ourselves. It's not like we have anything to, we don't have anything, eh? We don't have anything, but we hype ourselves. And as we hype ourselves, all the other schools also hype us too. So they're the ones that make our heads, our head, hey. Hey, goodness. Mm. Hello, guys. It's your girl, Venice, aka Bougie Bambi, and I'm here with super duper amazing niece. So, what's up? What's popping? What's going on? Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Venice, aka Bougie Bambi, and I'm back again with another exciting video. Just in case this is your first time here, do not forget to click on the notification bell and also the subscription button so you will be notified whenever I post a new Bougie video. And if this is not your first time here, you're like a returning subscriber. Thank you so, so much. So what is today's video about? Hey, my voice back. Mm. Mm. Okay, so what is today's video about? Well, I realized um, so many people were asking me, like, where do you come from? Like, blah, blah, blah. And that is not supposed to happen because I have a YouTube channel. I'm supposed to answer all these questions. So people would already know all of these things even before, before they start to watch any other thing on my channel. But then I realized for some reasons I never actually like did any um get to know me tag. I never actually said anything about myself. I only did the like too much information tag, which was just like general general questions. But today I'm actually going to be talking about the simple basic stuff about myself. Like for example, what's my name? What's my age? Where do I come from? This kind of easy stuff, you know, like nothing intrusive, nothing like crazy, anything like that. So the first thing, um, what is my full name? Well, my name is Bernice Akosia Adubashi Techoa, but for like so many reasons. Yeah, nah, not so many reasons. The easiest or simplest reason is the fact that um, I do not want people to spell my name. And even though I just use Bernice Boachi over here, people still call me Bernice Boachi, Bernice, yeah, 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 you get the point. So yeah, I just go by the name Bernice Boachi at the moment, at the moment, because I'll probably change it sometime soon. Yeah, so Bernice Boachi and um, I'm 20, yes, I recently turned 20, a few days ago, actually. So yeah, I'm a match born 18th of March. 20, 20, 21 minus 20, I mean, I was born in 2001. I'm like the, like, the millennial babies that, like, you know the point. Uh, are you named after anyone? Um, yeah, Tito is named after my grandmother. For my other names, I don't really know about that, but I don't think it even matters anyway, so, like, Yeah uh where are you from well i'm from ghana i'm a Ghanaian, born and bred yeah born and bred in ghana i'm a Ghanaian, and um i am like half a can half a even though my mom is from like togo so you could say i'm in a way like a togolese but uh yeah my mom doesn't go as a togolese she still says she's a Ghanaian, so i guess i'm a Ghanaian. so like yeah and um half a can half a and so, of course, yes, I do speak three, I do speak Ewe. I am multilingual because I speak lots of languages, actually. When we get to that question, I'll tell you the languages I speak. Mm. Uh, where did you grow up? Uh, even though I'm like an Akan, I grew up in Accra. I was born in Accra. I stayed in Accra my whole life. I never actually moved out of Accra. I rarely even went for like excursions or trips outside of Accra. So I'm just like an Accra baby. And just in case you don't know what Accra is or where Accra is, Accra is the capital of Ghana. And like, yeah, I never moved out of that. I was just like a capital baby, always in the capital. Yeah. Uh, which of your parents are you closest to? Okay, that question just jumped. Um, I think I'm close to both my parents. Like my parents are like really, really friendly. Sometimes you get a bit like intrusive and all that, but they're still like really, really friendly. And we are still close and everything like that. And we talk, we chat like we are friends and siblings and all that so like yeah um do i have any siblings so like yeah oh okay i'm sweating a lot like yeah do i have any siblings yes i do i have an elder sister and also a younger brother and a younger sister they're all like really annoying but what are siblings if they're not annoying like what's the point of having siblings if you don't have anyone to annoy you so like yes i do have siblings who annoy me every single time you get a point you get a point mm, yes and what do you call your grandparents who well um out of my grandparents i only know my grandma from my uh my father's my grandma from my father's side my mom's side like i never got to meet them so like yeah and we all just call her sissy so like that's what everyone else calls her so that's what i go to you know sissy what schools have you attended well i was a student of pesco 
which is St. Peter's Mission School, the great prayer school. So, like, yeah, if you are in Ghana, in Accra, I'm very sure you know St. Peter's because, like, the students of PESCO keep hyping themselves. It's not like we have anything, too. We don't have anything, eh? We don't have anything, but we hype ourselves. And as we hype ourselves, all the other schools also hype us, too. So, they're the ones that make our heads, our head, hey, hey, goodness, mm, mm. They're the ones that make our heads feel big. And you say it will be bill, but then as we are flexing, no, and then the other schools are also like hailing us and that kind of stuff, then the flexing just becomes like too much for like yeah. When you see like your St. Peter's student, people are like, hey, we're the bill, we are the <laughs> come check my pocket, nothing there inside, but like yeah. So I went to St. Peter's and um what shows did i go to i did not get a chance to go to an shs in ghana but if i did have the chance i would have probably just ended up in st peter's again the reason being um i didn't want to like cut my hair i still don't understand why it's in the like the ges rules that we have to cut our, our hair for shs it makes no sense to me and since i wasn't planning on cutting my hair i just knew i would have ended up in like a private shs because I can't do public school. Sorry. I didn't keep my hair for this long just for you to tell me to cut it for school. Nope. Okay, so the next question. What is my favorite color? Well, I'm more of like a blue kind of person, like blue, white. But the color that looks really, really good on me is red. Like when I wear red, I look like a queen. I mean, I'm already a queen, but red just like accentuates and highlights all of that queen shit. You know, you get the point, you get the point. Like, yeah, red just like brings all of it out. And let me tell you guys like one thing. As I'm doing this video, my mom is like right in front of me looking at me. So this video... <laughs> I'm having a lot more fun talking about myself because my mom just keeps on going like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's actually listening to me. So like, yeah. Um, what is my favorite food? Well, I'm like into local foods. I'm like that banku kind of person, that kenke kind of person. If you don't know what banku is, if you don't know what kenke is, I'll probably put like pictures there. If I forget, remind me down in the comments below. But I'll make sure I remember when I'm like editing this. But like, yeah, I do like local foods so, like banku with some pepe and like some fish. You get the drill but what i mostly eat is actually noodles because i love how you could like turn noodles into anything you could really like transform it you could have like noodles soup fried noodles like raw noodles dry noodles noodles is like that kind of like food that you could do anything with i love it i love noodles like yeah do you play any sports yes i played um tennis for a while so i played tennis for two years i think if you watch my other videos i actually did talk about this in time I played tennis for um two years I think then I quit so like yeah I was not really that like athletic I don't watch football like unless it's like the World Cup and it's only if Ghana is in the World Cup if like Ghana is playing at that point then I watch the World Cup but if not yeah I'm not gonna watch it mm -mm. what is my favorite subject proof well I'll say drama I'm a drama student so like acting and that kind of stuff but I don't want to go into that in future like I want to do nothing concerning acting at the moment i want to be a psychologist but why am i saying at the moment because it's like my choices change every day you know and psychologist is just the idea for now i remember i wanted to be like a doctor an actress a musician but like all those have changed as i've grown up and now at the moment it's like psychologist i don't really mind going to like the university starting the psychology course and then quitting it and studying something else i don't really mind like i know people will be like oh you're wasting your years in school blah 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 but i don't mind i don't care like we are still young life is short you need to like keep doing you till you find what really works for you that's what like that's what i'll say you know am i a dog person or a cat person well i'm both person kind of just like a cat and a dog at the same time like so yes i like dogs and cats at the same time i like them both i like them both like i like them both yeah so if i had the chance to get like a dog or a cat well i'll just get both and take care of them why not if i can why not uh, do I live with my parents? Yes, I live with my parents, my mom and my dad and my siblings. So I live with my nuclear family. We're all like together, one happy family. Hoo hoo! Like yeah. So we live together, and um, we'll probably be like separating soon because we are all getting too old to stay in our parents' house. We're getting too old. Getting too old. I don't know about you, but me, I'm getting too old. Twenty years, I'm getting too old. My parents are already sucking me out of the house, anyways. Twenty soon, I'm a cop uh who was the last person you ate dinner with the last person 
okay i mostly eat dinner alone breakfast alone lunch alone because like we all have different schedules and what we're supposed to do in each day and we all just go do our things go do our stuff so for example like for breakfast i could just go cook my own food have my breakfast first then and when i'm done my sister my elder sister decides oh i'm hungry too then she go makes her food my youngest you know we really cook like together and like the whole family's come to them and eat we really do that so like what is your idea of like a special time together well my idea of a special time together is like just like you know we're just sitting down on a bed and like just relaxing chilling like and chilling for me just like we just have like some snacks and you're drinking you know that's cool yeah i think that's cool like nothing extra you know i mean you could add like a movie in there and like it becomes like a movie days a movie nights like you know that, that's cool that's chill that's fun that sounds fun that sounds fun what scares you about aging what scares you about aging well, i'm scared that like as i grow old my parents are also growing old and well yeah you, you, you get a drift i get old to get old you know like yeah one person has to go first are you scared of heights no i'm not i'm actually like right now i'm on like the 13th floor like yeah no i'm not scared of heights I'm not i'm actually looking right outside on the 13th floor so like no i'm not scared of heights i don't even know what i'm scared of i'm not scared of darkness i'm not scared of like i don't know what i'm scared of i'm yet to find out what i'm scared of so like yeah i'm not scared of it how many countries have you been to Oof. uh six i think six countries as i said my mom is like Togolese, but she doesn't accept it, but like she's Togolese. So I've been to Togo, I've been to Benin, I've been to Nigeria, I've been to Dubai, I've been to Germany, I live in Austria. Like you say, seven. If you add Ghana to it, then I've been to seven countries. Like, yeah, if you have Ghana to it, I've been to seven countries. Can you swim? Actually, this question, eh? hmm. this question, it's sad though. It's sad. It's sad. I can't swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. It's actually so sad. I actually need to take the time like to do like a swimming lesson or something. I tried to start one like last summer, I think, but then I I didn't have time because I had things to do for summer, people to meet, blah 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 blah. Then I didn't have time to actually like go for it, even though I had signed up like I was going to come, blah blah. So I didn't go for it. But hopefully this summer I would do that because like swimming is important. It's like just in case I'm letting this information out there. You need to learn how to swim. It's important. Learn how to swim. That's also for myself. I need to learn how to swim. Mm. Um, have you ever been in a beauty pageant? Yes, I have. But I don't know if you call it a beauty pageant. It was it was more like something religious, but it was a pageant where we had to dress up and with makeup and everything. But then it was more like more religious, a religious pageant. I don't know if you can call this a beauty pageant, but like yeah. Have you ever taken self-defense lessons? Of course, yes, I'm a girl. I think every girl out there needs to take like self-defense classes because you never know. I'm that kind of person who's like a night person and stuff like that. So a self-defense class is actually very, very important for me. So yeah, I did take self-defense. So before I go over and I talk so much and I talk too much and this video becomes long about me just feeling myself, talking about myself, let's just take a minute. Let's take a minute. Take a minute. Admire this beauty. Like let's admire it look at it look at the skin yeah so check my previous video on how this skin happens what the skin is all about like yeah you get the drift so check my previous video and well that is all for today thank you so much for getting to this part to this end and as i said at the beginning of this video if you're new here and you like this video do not forget to well like it and also click on the subscription button if you still haven't and the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much until next time it's your girl Venice, aka bushy bambi